Welcome to CA Mobile Application Management. CA Mobile Application Management, or CAMAM, is an enterprise-level mobility solution that manages mobile applications. It enables securing, controlling, and managing the usage of apps and their inbuilt features. This video will instruct you how to configure your CAMAM trial account as an administrator and then, as a user, configure your mobile device to use applications managed by CAMAM. Once the sign-up for the trial account is complete, you are taken to MAM's dashboard. Click on the Settings button located at the bottom of the left navigation bar. In the Code Signing Configuration subsection, select the iOS toggle button and click Browse to select your Apple iOS Code Signing Certificate file in PKCS12 format. If any, enter the password that is securing the private key contained in the PKCS12 Signing Certificate file. If you plan to manage Android applications, select Android on the toggle button and repeat the step above. Finally, click on Save Changes. If you are planning on managing iOS apps, click on the iOS Default Provisioning File tab. In the iOS Default Provisioning Profile subsection, click Browse to upload your provisioning profile. It is required to sign the code of a managed iOS application and is obtained from your Apple's Developer Enterprise Program. At this point, MAM is entirely configured and ready to be used. The settings can be modified on demand whenever a server configuration has changed. In order to manage a mobile application with MAM and make it available to the end users, select the Apps button on the left navigation bar. Click on the New App button. In the Upload Apps section, click the Choose File button and select the third-party application file of the mobile app to be managed by MAM. Then, click on the Start Upload button. The application is being uploaded and wrapped. Once the application is successfully uploaded, click on the Apps button on the left navigation bar. In the All Apps view, select the wrapped third-party application. Click on the New Policy for this app button. In this view, you can define the users concerned by the policy if, the geofence, where, time fence, when, network fence, from network, and the action to be taken, then. The action is either about allowing or denying the access to a set of features that are visible once the action is defined. Click on the Allow Functions panel. Check the Select All box and click Add. Click on Save Policy. Enter a policy name and description, then Save. Click on the Apps button on the left navigation bar and click on the Wrapped Application. Then, click on the Publish button. Click on Settings and then on the Downloads tab. Choose the iOS toggle button and click on the Download button. This will launch iTunes and allow installing the MAM Client app in iTunes applications. Then, synchronize iTunes with an iOS tablet or iPad so that the CA MAM Client app is deployed on the device. Go to iOS Settings and click on CA MAM Client at the bottom left. Enter your server configuration as well as your organization name. Exit by pressing the Home button. Tap on the CA MAM Client app and log in with your credentials. Once logged in, you will see the third-party application that was wrapped in the admin console. Click the Install button. The wrapped third-party application is installed on the device. Tap on it to start using it according to CA MAM's policy. Now, the admin can create new policies and have the app and its features behave accordingly and dynamically on the user's device. To access more training on CAMAM and other enterprise mobility management tools, visit ca.com forward slash mobility. Thank you.